Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in South Bend, Indiana. Yes, that's right. My Going for my second food challenge win in Indiana. And for those of you asking right now, I think we're going for about 276. Win number 276. Um, so we're outside Tap House on the Edge Sports Bar, which is a sports bar here, obviously. And they have this very unique food challenge. It's called the Monster Melt Challenge. So a lot of uh, eaters have done this, such as like Randy Santel, etc. So from my understanding, it's a big, big burger with three different grilled cheeses. Yes, yeah, so it's like grilled cheese, patty, grilled cheese, patty, grilled cheese. So like three grilled cheese, a couple patties, and then you have a whole bunch of loaded fries. There's also ghost pepper cheese, just ghost pepper cheese on the burger, and then on the loaded tots, loaded tots, loaded fries, loaded tots, whatever there. There's also like jalapenos and other stuff. So it's a pretty spicy challenge, um, but that, let's pretty much head on in. So we do, we're gonna have 20 minutes to complete the challenge. Uh, if we do, we get the meal for free, and if not, I think it's about 35, 40 bucks. So that's about that. Let's go find out and uh, let's greet the food. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor today's video being Shaker and Spoon. So Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that delivers the experience of craft cocktails directly to your door. So each month, a box arrives at your door with three original recipes made by world-class bartender. It also includes all the ingredients you actually need to make the cocktail in there for 12 cocktails. So each box is themed around a type of liquor. So the cocktail recipes are really unique and provide some really cool flavor combinations that I never would have discovered otherwise and they're super easy to follow instructions. So you can make these complex drinks, really impress people to think that you're a master bartender, when really it's because you had shaker and spoon. I got the Negroni box, which showed me that there's more than just a traditional Negroni, featuring really cool ingredients such as like coconut. Ultimately, I think this box makes a great gift. It's also a great way to kind of spice your week up. I mean, can you imagine every like Friday or every week trying and to make a new cocktail? So if you're looking to shake things up a bit, go to shaker and spoon dot com forward slash Hanson and use that code Hanson at the checkout for $20 off your first box. Yes, that's right. For $20 off your first monthly shaker and spoon box. Like I said, click that link, use that code Hanson and get started. Like I said, shake things up. Maybe you're going to stir things a little bit and uh, that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So this is the Monster Melt Challenge. Very, very hot, gonna like cool down a little bit. But here we have um, what is a just over a pound of tots, uh, then dressed with a whole tons of sauces, queso cheese, sour cream, um, a whole bunch of jalapenos as you can see, bacon, etc. Then we have uh, a pound of beef, a pound of beef, uh, and three grilled cheese buns with again the ghost pepper cheese, fried onions, etc. So lots and lots of food, very spicy apparently. Um, we do have 20 minutes to complete it, and if not, again, it is about $30 to clarify. So that's about that. So we're gonna start here momentarily, then we'll cool off a little bit, and uh, wish us luck, it's a lot of food. So let's get started here. How about we say at the count of five, four, three, how do I get, how do you, how do you bite this? Let's figure that out. You know, as, as careful as possible. As careful as possible. Yeah. We'll leave this off. There right. you go. One, let's go. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Let's go, go. Good stuff. There's a flame I'm not going to stand here and hover over you. I'm going to let you handle it. you got plenty of time. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Go get it, get it. I'm just gonna set my phone here. Yeah, you're that's okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here taking on a spicy burger challenge. Yes, this monster melt challenge with ghost pepper cheese. Ketchup. Good taste of burger. So the burger itself had ghost pepper cheese and then the tots had a whole bunch of jalapenos on them. So overall it was definitely a pretty spicy kind of acidic going challenge. Um, the kind of burger buns were actually grilled cheese. So there was lots of grilled cheeses, sandwiches, and then obviously the patties. Um, the patties were cooked how I asked. I asked for them like a medium rare and they were definitely cooked like that. So kudos to that. Um, also a good flavor on the patty. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, again, so when you had regular cheese and ghost pepper cheese and all the cheeses, it was definitely cheesy. So if you like grilled cheese, then this will definitely be something that you would like. A bit of heat with that ghost pepper cheese. 
you do have 20 minutes to complete the challenge, and uh, I figured that that would hopefully be enough time. Um, this was my second challenge of the day, so I was definitely full, and I was definitely more worried about the spicy component. Now, that being said, for those who've been watching my channel for a little bit, I do like some spice, but when we're talking ghost peppers and you know a, a whole bunch of like raw or a whole bunch of pickled jalapenos on tight on tater tots, and when I'm very very full, that's when I start to worry about spice. When I'm very full, I find spice kind of makes me a little nauseous. And let's just say I was already really full, and my stomach was already feeling a little wonky. And I'm talking like you know from the bottom end component. So let's just say I was kind of like I wasn't holding my breath but my cheeks were holding let's just pretend i didn't say that how about that two minutes in a little spice here he's gonna kill you that's a lot of times i think that's more than a pound of honest. I don't know if there was a record, um, but they actually have two challenges here. So they have like the traditional monster melt, and then they had a bigger monster melt, which they call the Randy Centel version, which essentially is just this exact challenge, but you get one extra monster melt burger. Um, so if I'm ever in the area, I will come back and do that, as this was a pretty, I want to say, enjoyable challenge, but the, it was definitely like a little bit more spicy than I anticipated. I talked to a few people who had done this previously, and they were like, oh, it wasn't that bad, but I was definitely feeling some of the heat even just off that ghost pepper cheese and I hadn't even gotten to the jalapenos I was just really hoping that I'd even get to the tots at all um, as like I said this was definitely a lot of food after eating um, a, you know a, a, a first challenge um, I have to give a huge shout out to our server he was like a huge hype man he was super cool had a lot of good energy so kudos to him really <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, the spice and being me being so full was making me a little, making me feel a little uneasy, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the, uh, back to the food challenge. Okay, you're doing it, man. You're doing it for real. You got this. Oh, you got plenty of time, too. I hope so. All right. Yeah, you got this, girl. I think this is a super like awesome beginner challenge. I think it's one that um, quite a like, few individuals have a chance of doing. The 20 minute time limit is quite short, um, but in regards to the actual amount of food, probably about like four pounds, um, I think it's pretty reasonable in that regard. Like I said, the biggest component or difficulty would just be the 20 minute time limit and then maybe a little bit of the spice um, aspect. And then again, with the $30 price tag on it, even if you like were to fail, it's nothing uh, that extraordinary. Again, a good incentive to kind of try a challenge and or even if you're just kind of getting this as a meal, I mean, it's, you know, it's 30 bucks. It's, it could be a lot worse. Um, so I do appreciate the buy-in on that. And uh, we definitely had some, uh, had some, uh, let's say, spectators and such, which uh, were also making the experience. Just over four and a half minutes in, down to the top. Right. Man, killed that burger. Thank you. Oh yeah, you only really got you know you did that burger in five minutes. I have no doubt you're gonna make this go. Thanks man, I appreciate it. He's that. killing it. Look at that, you still got 15 minutes left. You got this go. Oh they said sweet kibble house against my Yeah, they're not too hot. I have paid how long I have You guys got a peanut bucket for this pizza? Hopefully not. <laughs> I love it. He's doing it. Good job. Yeah, they pay for the food and a t-shirt. Yeah, it's $25. Dude, this big. It's like a... Uh, and he ate the pizza. with an extra patty and an extra good cheese. Yeah. Extra cheese bacon. And he needs oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, I got you. Uh, noise. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. You have no idea how much my kids and I watch eating things. Like we used to when they were little, that was our thing. Yeah. It was so We went to that Fermani Brothers in. Pittsburgh, yes. 
But overall, the hope was just to finish that challenge, just get that win. Um, I will say we actually have a bonus challenge at the end of this video, so definitely check that out. Bit of a double feature, I guess you could say. And um, some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful footage of the Notre Dame uh, College or University um, here, uh, which I guess is like what the area is really well known for. Um, so definitely check that out. But with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, hopefully, we can finish this challenge. Let's see what happened. And hopefully Hopefully there is no cleanup on aisle two. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Quit to use my hand. Just want to give a reminder that you are awesome thank you so much for watching if you like the video so far please hit that like button down below consider subscribing it's absolutely free helps the channel grow and make sure you don't miss an upload so smash that like button thank you so much Holy cow. man you are not even halfway uh on the timer Just finished up about 10 minutes, 17 seconds. Definitely a lot of food. Um, well, like, a little spicier than I thought it was gonna be. I heard from a couple people that it wasn't too bad, but it was pretty spicy. But that would you get me up for free, which is pretty cool. And uh, that, I think maybe a t-shirt. So, yeah, t-shirt, awesome. T-shirt, cool. So huge thanks to staff here, guys. If you're ever in the area, feel free to stop and buy. Really cool spot. My name's Wiley. Yeah, I was gonna say shout out to our server. Wiley is really friendly, really cool guy. Been cheering us on the whole time. And that we went to next time. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. Stay happy, stay hungry, happy eating. Excuse me. All right. And that, definitely enough food. So, until next time. All right, good job. Yeah.
And here we have the t-shirt, really cool t-shirt. Actually, I survived the Monster Melt Challenge. Tap House on the Edge. I really like that shirt, that's a good one. That's a real good one. And when you are in South Bend, Indiana, so what I found out is they're famous for this uh, Notre Dame, Notre Dame University, or college, whatever you want to call it. So this is like just part of it. It's obviously very huge. I think this is the football field, which we will get close to here momentarily, but it is giant. And um, hopefully uh, I'll get in the shade here but uh, yeah, what an interesting looking um, series of buildings. Like, <clears throat> just look at this, dude. The, the, the sun is gonna, there you go. Look at this. Look at the freaking, uh, that's not better. Yeah, look at the freaking, uh, the freaking buildings here. These are giant here, I'll zoom out. That is, sorry guys, trying to multitask, but this is giant. Obviously this is uh, some of the football stadium which is just, again, absolutely giant, big, big, big college uh, football um, team, university, etc. What's their team called again, George? Uh, the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish. Here at O'Neill Hall, Frank Lethe Gate, Frank Lethe, and all this cool stuff. Um, but yeah, so we are seeing some of the uh, some of the university, a little bit of it at least. We are literally uh, on the way out of town. And just happened to uh, be driving by it and literally see it. So here's some more, some student centers. Definitely a uh, big, this looks like a, quite a campus to be honest. And definitely um, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Beautiful campus. Look at this. I'm Look. surprised they don't have a food chill there for legends and nutrients. <laughs> yeah, maybe they do. <laughs> this is, that's called the Stair Center. Here we go. Stair Lot. Here we have a Walsh family hall again really cool looking buildings um, this is called holy cross drive i guess you might as well check out holy cross drive uh, very nice looking very 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 nice this is yeah very a uh, i see why people call this you know a very well-known university at least the campus for its beauty and i'm super cool i'm so glad that i got to find out about this Again, what's really cool about going and seeing all these places, people, is not only do we get to have, you know, food challenges and meet great people, all the people that come out and about to meet us, but we get to like sometimes happen to see things like these. Like, who would have thought? Holy cow, dude, look at this thing ahead of us. Do you guys see this? Look at that freaking, I don't even know what that is. That is a, that is a big building. So let's see what all this is. And just show you a little bit more. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I said gorgeous is another word, but like gorgeous as F, but I won't say that on camera. Um, yeah, this is very, very, very pretty. Whatever is through these trees right here is that. I don't know if you just saw that, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go see what this is all about. Alright, so by foot, definitely a little more serene, definitely a little better viewing. Very beautiful, well-groomed campus. Here we have some lovely, lovely looking roses. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And then we have this big building, which I don't even know what it is, but it looks like a, I don't know, I want to say a clock tower, or a church tower of some sort. Like, you know, just absolutely giant. Impressive though. Very stunning. Very, very, very stunning. And then we have this, this other really, really big building, which like the size of it, the intricate nature of it, I would literally like compare to basically that of a like a state capital or you know maybe even more. Like there's there's definitely must be a church. I think that's Jesus up there. But uh, just look at this, like holy cow! There's, this is this is a very impressive yeah, campus. Catholic uh, college. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is uh, like I said. This this is this is very. Very impressive, everybody. This is uh, definitely stunning. All right, and here is the front-on view. Again, absolutely gorgeous. 
This is built in 1879. I don't know how they built that in 1879. Just super impressive. So yeah, guys, Notre Dame campus, absolutely stunning. Would recommend. And this is just, this is just gorgeous. All right, so we made it to Cornwell's Turkeyville, which is pretty cool. This place is definitely unique. And uh, I think it's attached to like a campground and stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's a old fashioned ice cream parlor. Looks pretty cool. I'm glad they offer a challenge. It's always nice to see places like this, kind of in the middle of nowhere offering challenges. So let's go on in. So here we are inside. It's a really cool old fashioned kind of parlor here. They had some old ice cream thingy things. George has all his ice cream and toppings there, so it looks really good. Yeah. Getting some toppings, 15 scoops, five toppings. No complaints. Nathan will get his here momentarily as well, and looks good. I guess this place has like a whole like restaurant and diner too. Really cool looking. They have like bears and old uh, old posters. Definitely a flashback to the past. They have turkeys everywhere. That's a turkey. Here's a big turkey. That's a really big turkey. And here is the challenge. It looks very delicious. George, what kind of flavors did you get? Uh, Cookie Monster, Fruity Petal, Death by Chocolate, Bourbon Pecan, Ooh. and Turkey Chocolate. That sounds delicious. Very, very good looking. Very good. Here's Nathan's. He's getting all his sauces, some cherries, some pineapple, strawberries, he's getting some fruits in there. He got some strawberry, chocolate, vanilla ice cream, keeping it OG. And here we go, we got Nathan. There you go. We got Nathan, we got George here with their super toms. We're gonna get started here momentarily. Looks good. So it is the official rules, eat it all and it's free. 15 scoops, five toppings, 15 minutes. So you gotta do one scoop a minute. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. I uh, I think that I think they I think they got it, but you better comment down below. Go! And here we go, they are off. 15 scoops of ice cream, five toppings. Apparently there is a record, but I don't know what it is, but. So. 5.50. 5.50? There you go. 15. Oh, 15. So just over five minutes. George be killing it. Nathan be killing it. Oh, you guys are laughing. I think, I think we have new records coming your way. Oh yeah, killing it guys, killing it. Just absolutely slaughtering the ice cream. I think they could have done two or three of these bad boys. I think they're both like half done. You guys are killing it. And we're only like a minute-ish in. Keep it up, gentlemen. Yeah. Anything with fat and sugar is delicious, right? Yeah. Nice, George, killing it. How you doing, George? It's delicious. Aerial view, guys, both just crushing it. Both the gentlemen, I think they're down to like, I think less than a quarter. Both of them just crushing it. 
They're both taking in some water. I think they're starting to freeze a little bit, but they're killing it. The key with ice cream challenges is just keep swallowing it. Luckily, you don't really have to chew it. Once it's in your mouth, you can swallow it pretty much, even if it's cold. Keep it up guys, we definitely have some new records coming. Less than three minutes in. Nathan and George coming in for that, uh, coming in the close. Doesn't this make you guys wish I had a cameraman all the time? Hashtag apply below. Killing it guys, absolutely killing it. <laughs> Both Nathan and George, coming in. Just both leaving, no doubt. <coughs> Let's see. I think Nathan's pretty much done, I think they're both done. Look at that, guys. Congratulations to the two new record holders, Mr. George and Mr. Nathan. About three minutes, 50 seconds. How was it, gentlemen? Delicious. Very good. Yeah, very good. Did you maybe pick out a flavor which was delicious or just all delicious? We'll just go with all delicious. Yeah? Chocolate. Everything was good. Everything. When it, when it, looks, when it looks like this at the end, everything was good. Awesome, well good job guys, that's impressive. So they do get the meal for free, which is very sweet. Congratulations guys, you saw it, conquered the Super Tom, and how was your first ice cream challenge? Is this their second time doing it, Nathan? Second time, yes, definitely tastes just as good. Just as good, I like it. All right guys, well, peace out everybody. You guys wanna give me happy eating? Happy eating, happy eating. We are now heading down into downtown Battle Creek. Apparently they call Battle Creek Cereal City because Kellogg's and Post uh, both have like factories or headquarters here and apparently originated here. So pretty cool. It is a nice little evening. We're starting to get a bit of a sunset. Um, got some definitely historic looking buildings down here, I will add. And Battle Creek. You can see Battle Creek. Here it's on glory. That's a big building. Cool. cool. Here is the Kellogg's headquarters. So if you ever have a problem with Kellogg's, this is who you're talking to. It's uh, quite sizable. You know, I do like some cereal. What are Kellogg's is uh, Frosted Flakes, yep. Fruit Loops, Mini Wheats. Mini Wheats. I, I like all the cereals. I'll do, I, I vibe, I vibe. There's the Kellogg's sign. Visitor parking, main entrance. That's cool, Battle Creek, Michigan. Learn something new. And what would be the Midwest if we didn't have trains <laughs> that go on for miles and miles and miles and miles? And of course, I mean, hey, Battle Creek. I got a tr my first train stop in Battle Creek. I think it's an experience everybody wants to have. We're about to roll up on the Post factory, which is right there. That's like part of it, like right there's Post, so. After our three hour long train is by, we'll, uh, we'll be resuming our tour of Battle Creek. And here we have the big post factory facility. So if you recognize that, they got things like Sugar Crisp, uh, Honeycomb Cereal, um, Alphabets. What, what is Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles. Do they? Yep. In the United States, Fruity Pebbles, not a Canadian thing. So shout out Post for Fruity Pebbles. And here is the big Kellogg's plant, the original Kellogg's plant, still operating, pumping out lots of cereal, seven days a week. So learn something new every day. So you want cereal, guys? Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There you go, Battle Creek Kellogg's plant. This is what you have to thank.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.